chapter 1, ver we will read from verse 26 up to 37. <coughs> Chapter 1, verse, from verse 26 up to 37. This is about the birth of Jesus. Verse 26, in the sixth month, God sent an angel, Gabriel, to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with, you will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who has said to be barren, is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> with God, nothing shall be impossible. Without Him, we can't do a thing. Without the ability of God, Mary can conceive, or Elizabeth will remain barren, and nobody can get into heaven. But with God, every impossibility of our life is now made into possibility, not because of us, but because of Him, and who resides in us by the power of the Holy Spirit. With men, it will be impossible, but with God, Nothing is impossible. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we exalt you today, Lord Jesus. We are thankful, Father God, that you brought us into this place. Father God, it is our joy to give you the highest praise and worship today, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for, for all the blessings that you have showered upon us, for, for giving us strength, Father God, to go through day by day. We know, Father God, that there, there is a great power in our praise and worship unto you. Father God, we, will know, we know, Father God, that we will experience great peace in our hearts when we present all our need to you, Father God, with a heart of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. And in times of battle, our praise and worship will destroy the enemy and bring down God's judgment on them. Hallelujah. Praise and worship to you, Father God, will bring us deliverance for our bondages. Thank you, Father that we can call you dad we can call you father and with you father god nothing is impossible so we give our worries unto you today father god knowing that you can turn our mourning into dancing and joy father god nothing is impossible with you thank you jesus we give you all the highest praises in your mighty name we pray amen can we all stand up and give the highest praise to our god hallelujah
nothing is impossible with you, Jesus. Because with you, all things are possible. <clears throat> Can we shout it out? Yeah. Hallelujah. All things are possible.
are grateful, Lord Jesus, because we have you, the great I am, in our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is joy in us, brothers and sisters. Just don't forget that. Hallelujah. We have joy in our hearts, in spite of sorrow and troubles, because we have the great I am in our lives who can do anything. And with Him, nothing is impossible. With Him, all things are possible. Hallelujah. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us proclaim that, church. There is power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Is there any new? Visitors in our church today? No? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Let us welcome one another. Shake hands, give hugs. Welcome each 